<clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome back, guys. Um, people's Goof Troop Part Three, and um, so we're just continuing along our little ways here, and um, let's see, backtracking a lot. Uh, these guys, these pur big purple guys. I do not like them. Um, probably my least favorite enemy in the game. And I just screwed myself by kicking that uh, block in the middle of the way. Now I gotta go back. But these guys can kick blocks. And they're, see, as you saw there. So, um, that's one reason why I do not like these guys. They can, if you're doing a puzzle with the blocks and everything, they can definitely screw you over. A lot. Alright, so we've got our uh, plank that we needed from our previous episode. And now we are just technically doing a little collecting um, and going back up here. Now with these ones on the, that are hooks on the ground, you can actually hook your grappling hook thing to them to make a rope bridge to cross which is pretty cool except that you lose your grappling gun of course um so you can pick up another one yay um and then i make another mistake which is easily fixed and i just decide to pick up that blue gem while i'm at it clear gem blue gem whatever you want to call it <laughs> So we go back up here, making a horrible attempt to hit this guy from afar. Um, get him that time. Get some bananas. Bananas are yummy. They taste good. You must eat them. Eat them now! Okay. So we get the key, yay! Alright, so we're actually getting somewhere this episode. Um. Alright, so we maneuver very... I'm getting better at just moving around the enemies and just not having to worry about them. I don't know why I focused on that hedgehog for that. Um, guys, where am I going? I don't even know where I'm going. Um, oh wait, now I do. I'm going backwards. Why might you ask? Well, even I don't know that. I mean, I, I used to play this game a lot when I was younger. So I thought I would know where I'm going, but obviously not. So back in here we go with the big block kicking guys. Ooh, 49. Um. Don't kick that. Do not kick that. Oh. Now I know what I'm doing. Too bad I don't have a bell. Reading this guy over. Hey, buddy. Come on, buddy. You know you want to try to hurt me. There you go. Good boy. Alright, so. Now we have snakes. Ooh. You get hit by these things, I don't know. I mean, just like I did earlier, just a minute ago. Then you're an idiot. I mean, come on. You only go in one direction. Left or right. So I guess that's two directions. Okay, the cool thing with these blocks that we have here are... And you'll see, they start flashing because... The cool thing with this is that they actually are... I don't know what they call them in the game, but I just call them blow blow up blocks. Blow, ugh, blow up blocks. Uh, cause after a limited period of time, they blow up. Cool, huh? <sighs> so, I kinda have to do this really fast. For some reason. I don't know why I had to do that really fast, but I did. Wow, I totally messed up that guy. I'm supposed to be starting softball? And I missed that bad? No. Um. 
that's another thing too, guys, um, that I just remembered. Uh, June 7th, not only it being my birthday, uh, yippee, yippee. I'm actually really happy about it this year, you know, because it's been a good year so far, and so it's, it's alright. Um, anyways. <sighs> um, by the way, here's the whole block thing with the guys that screw up your stuff. But, um... Anyways, while I'm doing this, um, not only is June 7th my birthday, which is a Tuesday, so the A for that will be 27, will be, um, I also start softball that day, um, which is kind of cool, um, So I'll be doing that. I think it's my third year in a row of playing softball. But the cool, the really cool thing about it is that it's not just regular softball. It's actually special Olympic softball. Um, yes. If you're curious, I am. This it might not sound like it or seem like it when you saw me in my video, some of my videos. I am disabled to an extent. Oh, it is a low tone thing, but I have cerebral palsy and a couple other things. But they're very low tone. You, if you saw me in person, you'd be like, you really wouldn't believe me that I'm disabled. Um, unless I explained everything to you. But anyways, um, so I've been, and I also, I, during the year, I play Special Olympics basketball, which is near the end of the year, too. So, um, as we finish this puzzle up here, yay, we got it right this time. Um, I just thought I'd let you guys know that Tuesdays, Usually around 5 to 6.30, I will be playing softball this year, and when time comes further on, there will be times where I'll be playing in tournaments and stuff, and those will be on the weekends where I normally, where I'm going to normally try to start doing more videos on the weekends than on the weekdays, but, um, wow, I died again. Um, that's not cool. Um, so, anyways... <sighs> I just thought I'd update you guys on that, let you know how that's going to work. I'm going to try to see if I can catch this year. Um, if I can't catch, then I'm, I don't know what I plan on doing. Maybe I'll do outfield again. Uh, I did second base last year, but, uh, hey, whatever works. Um, I guess I just, it's that way. Maybe you guys can give me some suggestions, you know, like, what do you what, what do you guys think would be better for me? Catching or maybe an outfield position or what? I don't think they're going to let me pitch, but I've tried asking in the few, in the past. Usually our instructors pitch um, our games for us. So, but I've seen other teams use pitchers to pitch. Um... Here, really quick, back to the game. Um, we got our key, our master key, so to speak, and now we're gonna have some fun digging. Um, I wish I knew how. There's a way for me to speed this up, and I can't remember how, but I think I'm gonna try it now. So I'll see you guys in a second. Boy, that was uh, fun and fast. I uh, just wanted to try that out and see if it actually worked, and I guess it does. Uh, I won't be using that very often, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to try something new out for once. Alright, so we're continuing on here to a area where there's a big cavernous pit type thingy. And stuff, so let's start kicking rocks off the edge. Um, me forgetting the fact that you had to have one hook on, you had to be standing on one hook that can go straight across to another hook. So we do that one first. Then we have a little tiny puzzle here, not too hard. back and get the other one, dark, and then fall off the edge and then off the screen at the same time. So, that's lovely. Um, so 
So I'll just go back and pick up stuff and go back over there. Uh, where am I going? I have no clue. Um, oh, right. Go back here for a second and grab a couple items and stuff or attempt to before I die. Which I probably will die, by the way. Um, if I keep this up. But hey, I'm reckless. Haha. <laughs> you can't catch me. And no, I'm not the gingerbread man. But hey, you know what? It works for these guys. You can't catch me, but I can't throw either, so that helps. I've seen that part, I have no bloody clue. Uh, just to liven it up a little, instead of me just talking and talking. Um, let's see, what was I going to say? Some, I had some stuff I actually planned out to talk about in this video or another video. Um, but I can't remember what they are. So I'll probably get those, find those things again in my brain, and we'll get those to you and goof to part four, which will be out soon when I think about it. And why am I standing in one spot? Oh, because I'm a dork like that. Anyways, so we're going back and getting stuff thrown at us. Okay, we are back here again. Hey, Max, jeez. I don't think you need to get rid of all the blocks. Um, but hey, it never hurts to help. Never helps to hurt her. Oh, uh, you get my point. I don't even get my point sometimes. Um, there's two ways you can do this. You do it by standing over there and hitting it like that, or I can just do this and hit it there. Alright, we're coming to the end of the video, so I will see you guys next part.